Hi guys, it's reaction time. It's the band White Tiger and the song This Is The Life. Now, I've missed this band. This is last year. So um, the, their release came out, their debut album last year. This has been asked for by Matt. We didn't actually ask for this song, but this is the latest song. It's the title track. So I thought when I get round to it, I finally got round to doing it and I thought uh, I'll choose the latest song. So I hope that's all right, Matt. But he's definitely, uh, he's, he said that the album is great. It came out last year. It's obviously one I've missed, which I'm pissed off about. But, you know, it says, um, uh, let's go through the, people in the band first, and they're from England. Yes, they're from England. Here we go. Uh, Nip Turner on vocals and guitar, Chris Hingley on guitar and vocals, Stay Timmings on the bass and vocals, and Jack Ryland Smith on the drums. Um, it says the debut album, This Is The Life, um, they formed in 2015. They were a tribute to greats of classic rock like ACDC, Guns N' Roses, Metallica, and Motley Crue. And um, it wasn't long before they started introducing their own songs. Um, so yeah, I'll just, I, you know, when a British band comes along and there's some great ones out there, why not? Fuck it. Why not? I love it. I absolutely love it. So, um, this is White Tiger and I'm, the only thing I'm gutted about, like I said, is I didn't get around to this last year or even know about it. So here we go. I'm really excited to hear this. Um, finally got around to it, Matt. So here we go. White Tiger. This is the life. This came out about four weeks ago, I think. So Really looking forward to this. Here we go, guys. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. The energy this song gave off from the minute it started. Loving the production, man. I mean, let's talk about the mix, first of all. Snappy, really snappy. I love it. It's, you know, got light and shade in it. It's not just one wall of noise. The instruments are really bright. The guitar's really bright. And that's what I really love. You can really hear some cool guitar playing going on. It's like almost... Uh, they're nothing like this band, but you can hear the intricacy of like Maiden-esque sort of guitar heroics, if you like. I love that, but they're obviously just a rock and roll band, classic rock and roll band, which I also love. I mean, they're fun. They sound fucking great. They've got a little bit of sleaze in them. A tiny bit of sleaze, I would say, especially in this song anyway. Um, 
And also, I would say that chorus reminds me of another great band that I love, uh, The New Roses. It almost remind me of a mix of all those elements, but um, they sound fucking great, man. Fun, really great musicians, great singer. Um, I love everything about it. It's absolutely fantastic, man. Uh, a few F few fucks being thrown about as well for good measure which is very cool um almost got that i mean it's obviously some of those bands that i mentioned that they you know used to pay tribute to it's almost got that sort of classic guns and roses feel as well and i think i was talking about those thinking about it now talking about the guitar i mentioned maiden which actually you're probably more looking at the debut guns and roses album lots of really cool guitar work going on on that album if you remember if it's been overplayed or not you know it's just uh but you know almost reminded me of that and the way that those guitar parts from slash sort of came through the mix then as well didn't they it was all about the guitar and then then sort of guns and roses turned into something else um more riffy i suppose rather than that debut album or that real rock and roll called guitar melodies you know very cool band indeed um matt yeah right up my alley matt really is um i mean on this song alone i think this this band could have made it into my at least my top songs or my top albums of the year last year and that's just through two minutes of listening to it it's, it's really fucking cool here we go for the rest guys obviously they're good on the guitars because we've heard a little tiny solo already but we've probably got a um, a lengthy guitar solo to listen to so I'm going to try and concentrate on that if I can here we go guys brilliant proper fun rock and roll i think the only sleazy part of it really listening to it is that opening and the closing riff really got some uh yeah sleaze in there but man what a song they fucking are brilliant debut album as well obviously good going a few years doing other stuff but man that's a that's a listen that that's got to be i mean i don't go back much when it comes to music it's all about the the current year but 
I've got to change that now. That I'm going back. I'm gonna uh, get hold of that album. I'm gonna to listen to that. That is fucking superb, Matt. Brilliant, brilliant recommendation, mate. Just gutted that I didn't get to hear that last year. I think I would have, um, like I said, definitely been in my top. It would have done something. It would have albums or songs or whatever. Listening to that song alone, that is excellent. Let me know, guys, what you think of White Tiger. And this is the life in the comments below. And I'll see you soon.